We're breaking down the first look at Joaquin Phoenix's Joker. Ever since it was announced that a Joker origin film was in the works, people had lots of questions of the what and why variety. Now with the DC Cinematic Universe seemingly in flux, trying to figure out how to chart a course away from the dark and gritty days of BVS and Suicide Squad, it seemed like an odd choice to double back and create a dark comedy origin story for Batman's most mysterious and arguably most popular villain. If the more lighthearted tone of Justice League and Wonder Woman was one direction for the future of the DC movie universe, a standalone film about a down-on-his-luck comedian who completely loses it and becomes a crazed supervillain seemed like a 180. But despite questions as to whether this film is the right direction for DC and Warner Brothers to take with the big screen Batverse, the film is underway and it's starting to sound more and more like something that we want to see. Originally, word on the street was that Leo DiCaprio was the top choice for the role, but after a lot of back and forth, Joaquin Phoenix won out. And this weekend, we got our very first official look at Joaquin from the Joker origin film when director Todd Phillips posted a pic of the actor to his Instagram. In the photo, Joaquin is looking gaunt and wearing a muted dark green jacket with the caption. Arthur. Now this confirms what we heard earlier this year, that the Joker's real name in this movie will be Arthur Fleck. Now there is no Arthur Fleck in the comics, and traditionally the Joker's real name is unknown to both readers and to the Bat. The closest we've come to the Joker having a name was in Tim Burton's Batman films, where they named him Jack Napier as a stand-in for Joe Chill, the man responsible for Tom and Martha Wayne's deaths. However, that name hasn't stuck with the Joker throughout DC canon, so it seems like this new film will be adding to the mythology of the character with this alternate name and origin. Now shortly after that first pic hit Instagram, it was followed by leaked set photos as well as behind the scenes video. In the set photos and video, Arthur angrily exits Ha Ha's talent agency, nervously smokes a cigarette, and has a heated discussion with a clown on the street, as one does, am I right? Before stealing the clown's nose. Pairing this treasure trove of video and photographic evidence with other details that we've learned about the film, a clearer picture is coming into focus of what direction Todd Phillips is taking the clown prince of crime's origin story. So what else do we know about this new version of the pre-Joker Joker? We know that he's a down-and-out comedian who moves in with his ailing mother. The failed comedian detail feels like an homage to the Joker story, The Killing Joke, plus the painted wall behind the two actors in that wide shot video prominently displays the name Amusement Mile, which is a location in The Killing Joke. And it's worth noting that Joaquin Phoenix is only three years younger than the DC Cinematic Universe's current Joker, Jared Leto. And based on what we've seen so far, it appears Phoenix is playing the Joker in his early days before he got into a life of crime. However, DC confirmed in September of 2017 that this Joker origin movie will be separate from the DC film universe's Joker. Now keep in mind there are currently three different versions of the Joker in the comics, which will be further explored in the upcoming DC Black Label series Three Jokers. Since the movies are usually influenced by the comics, there is a chance that Phoenix's Joker and Leto's Joker could eventually exist in the same cinematic universe, but that is all speculation on our part. <laughs> yeah. So there you have it. We got our first look at Phoenix's take on the Joker. It looks a little unsettling, but will it be good? We won't know for sure until the film comes out in October of 2019. But what do you folks think? Do these photos have you sold on the Joker origin film? Who is your favorite on-screen Joker? And how many more times are we going to see Thomas and Martha Wayne die on screen? As much as Uncle Ben? <laughs> probably more. Let's discuss. Be sure to like, subscribe, and mash that little bell to get notified every time we drop a video or go live with the show. And hey, have you checked out What the Friday? It's our Pop Culture Week in Review breakdown where we discuss, debate, and then get too heated over trivia. You can check it out on Fridays at 1 p.m. Pacific on ProjectAlpha.com. Just use the promo code Alpha60 to get yourself a 60-day free trial. And if you miss it live, you can always check out the podcast version on iTunes, Spotify, and wherever fine podcasts are found.